Now, your Doppler 10 weather forecast. Hey, good afternoon, folks. Meteorologist Bill Alexander. Let's take a look at what's going on. Still some rain in the area. Take a look at your live weather bug camera at Rockport. We've got cloudy skies, some light rain, dampening the pavement there, five hundredths of an inch, just 76 degrees under calm winds. But uh, I tell you what, there's been a whole lot more rain than that across portions of the area, including right here in the immediate Corpus Christi vicinity. But look at this. Additional rains now uh, pelting portions of the least eastern Corpus Christi. Christie south side and over towards the Naval Air Station Flower Bluff and on back into uh, areas around the uh, right along these uh, eastern edge of Corpus Christi Bay all that area is uh, getting an additional dose after several inches of rain has fallen over much of the region <clears throat> excuse me let's take a look at some of these totals here and if you look at the area around Orange Grove just west of there let me put a little hash mark there you're gonna see uh, upwards of five inches of rain in portions of this area. This is Doppler indicated rain, 5.4, 5.7 inches. It really soaked out there. Well, most folks have uh, an inch to an inch and a half, and that's what I had in my place on the south side. But most of that is now moving away. You see the upper level disturbance, uh, enhanced cloud material moving across Corpus Christi up towards the Port Lavaca area. That's leaving us. That's the upper level disturbance. There's a whole lot of rain cooled air basically south and east of Interstate 35. You can see the mercury only in the lower to middle 80s, even 70s where we are. Elsewhere across the state, the upper level ridge is dominant and it's giving temperatures in the upper 90s to around 100 degrees out in the Trans-Pecos. But it's all in the 70s around here. For the most part, you're seeing very comfortable conditions, albeit them humid conditions with dew points mainly in the 70s. Now those dew points are going to be a major factor. Uh, you're not going to have much in the way of fuel like temperatures now, but take a look at the weekend and you'll see a different story. Also, in, you're going to see in the next six hours the bulk of that rain heading off to the north and in its wake just a few little sea breeze showers tomorrow, even less as you move into the Sunday time frame. So uh, we're pretty much done with the rain after this evening. And uh, this is the total we're expecting in those northern areas. Still, Rockport, another inch of rain, and that area continues to move north and away as the upper level disturbance departs off to the north. High pressure builds in over the weekend. You'll see that big H down there. It moves across our area the first of next week and into the middle of next week. And underneath that, though, you have two things. You have trapped hot air and Saharan dust. Take a look at this satellite loop from NOAA. Now all that enhanced gray area, that's dust, and it's visiting us beginning tonight and sticking around for the next several days. Tonight, though, mostly cloudy. A few evening showers, I like got right now, 77. Isolated showers tomorrow, but very isolated, partly cloudy, and the Saharan dust causing a haze uh, high in the upper 80s. And then during the day, uh, light hours, uh, right on through all of next week, the highs will be in the lower 90s and the lows in the middle to upper 70s. Hot, hazy, and humid afternoons, humid nights. Ah, uh, yes, it looks like summer is here. Drew? Bill, thank you.